What do you make of Bill Belichick being a little sensitive to the Patriots struggling and he blamed it on, we went all in those last five years, winning Super Bowls, going to a Super Bowl losing, going to the AFC title game. What What is he saying and who is he saying it to? I, I liked it. And I know that he's getting some criticism. I've read it. Um, I appreciated it because one, when Bill Belichick talks the business of football, there's nobody better. So I like the fact that he's actually, instead of like monosyllabic answers after a press conference, I like the fact that he's actually explaining, right? Like we ask these guys questions, you want an answer. It could theoretically come out as defensive. I just, if it's defensive and explaining, I will take the explaining part. Um, I think he's right. Because last year they did spend right up to the top in cash. I also think they, you know, this is a year where they got, they had no cap space, literally none. All they could afford was a Cam, you know, Cam Newton, $1 billion plus contract. And then they got a little cap room due to some settlements, including the Aaron Hernandez settlement. Then they had all the opt-outs and now they have a ton of cap space, but nobody to spend it on. So they lost the players, couldn't replace them because, you know, who are you going to, who are you going to spend the money on? There's nobody out there. So it's a actual rebuilding year for the Patriots, which they've never had. And they'll clear all the cap space and next year, probably kind of start new and we'll see what happens at quarterback, but potentially the new quarterback as well. Yeah. I, I can't imagine Cam is back unless we see a drastic turnaround here. It feels like they've already, you know, they have their opinion on Jared Stidham. Now you got to either go in the draft or free agency what kind of possibilities are out there for the Patriots to find a, another franchise quarterback? Yeah, I mean, if we'll see what the record ends up being. I'm of the opinion that the Patriots are always going to be fine, so I'd be surprised at this point if they are not like eight and eight, seven and nine, because they're always they're always fine, right? But we'll see. But if, if they have a high draft pick, could definitely take a quarterback. I mean, that's that's something we have not seen for real, for real since Jimmy Garoppolo, uh, and that was a late two. So. I think we could see that the options, if they don't take one in the draft, there, there's not a ton of them, but Sam Darnold would be potentially one, depending on how the Jets would do. Now that would take the Jets trading their former franchise quarterback to the Patriots. Yeah. I don't know about I that. I guess we've seen crazier things, but <laughs> you know, I, I mean, I don't know. And, and then, you know, the rest of the guys you're looking at are franchise guys who may not be in a great place for their team. Matt Ryan, Probably stays. Kirk Cousins contractually probably stays. Uh, Philip Rivers is at toward the back end. I mean, there's just not a lot of great options. The one that I think will get all of us talking is Jimmy Garoppolo, because yeah. if you know and, if and he's gone in San Francisco, that's an option. That could be an, a win-win for both. That Kyle Shanahan gets his quarterback, whoever that is, if if it's Matt Ryan or Kirk D. Cousins. Um, and then Bill, who loves him, some Jimmy Garoppolo, can get Garoppolo back, and that might be his franchise quarterback. I thought about that, and I think that's one thing you'll hear a lot is, is Jimmy Garoppolo going back to the Patriots. The only thing that gives me a little pause about that is he didn't play a lot for the Patriots, right? Like, he only played, I think, two games. He was in the building for a while, and when Belichick called the 49ers about trading for him, he said – Okay, I think a two is about right. So he valued him as a second round pick back then, which to me, he's a quarterback getting traded for a two. That if he thought he was a franchise quarterback, no matter what, he would have said, We need a one for this guy. That's my only thing that gives me pause about him reuniting with the Patriots. Still could make sense. I'm just I'm just kind of curious about that part of it. Yeah, but I don't know what was going on behind the scenes if you know Brady wanted him out. And Bill had to make that decision of, do I bet on the future? Or do I bet on the present? And he wanted to keep Tom, keep Tom happy. And therefore, hey, if I hold out for a one, I might not get that one. I know I can get the two. I can, I can put him in, you know, great hands with Kyle Shanahan and the 49ers. I, I don't know. It, it felt like that that was Belichick doing Garoppolo a favor and doing Tom Brady a favor as well. That's a really good point. I mean, because if he says, all right, I need a one, then he might just not be able to trade him. And, and I think the point of that from Belichick's standpoint was just to, to get a good, clean deal done rather than like yeah. haggle back. Like just, is it, is it two? Do you want it? Yes or no? They did do Garoppolo a favor by sending him to a great place. Um, all that is true. I think 
looking back now, you know, whether or not Brady actually really wanted him out, I've never proved, I've I've heard the suggestion. I've just never proven it. I've never had anyone right on the inside say, yes, Brady wanted him out. Um, I just think for the Patriots, once Brady stopped aging, once he basically was like, I'm going to play till I'm 45 and I'm still going to be good. Then their only way to get real value was to trade him then. That's that's they hedged their bets by keeping Garoppolo for half a season. They were like, the only way we're going to get value, trade him now. We have to do it. That's my recollection of how it happened.